guys, the mortgage business is ever changing. Check this out. So the question really becomes looking forward, what's gonna happen? Well, let's find out with rate guru extraordinaire, Barry Habib, because he has a bold prediction for us right now on where rates will go in 2015. As we said in the past, Barry is no stranger to making bold predictions. Last year, while almost everyone thought rates would go higher, he nailed it when he said that the 10-year treasury note would go from 3% to 2%, and he even called the exact month that would happen. Barry? Thanks, guys. It's really nice of you. It's always great to be on with you guys. You do such a great job. So yeah, oil is a huge story. And when we look at the oil story, so many experts, they get on TV, they say how great this is. You know, we see people saving money at the pump. It's going to be good for the economy. I've talked to people that are really bright. I've watched people on TV. And what they fail to realize is that there's an ugly side to this. Let's talk about that for a minute. You see, these companies within the U.S. that produce oil, there's a certain cost. And if they're unprofitable because the price that they're selling oil at is less than what they can produce it for, well, there's only so long that you can stay in business. They can hold out for a while. They've done some hedging, which is smart to do, just like we do in the mortgage business. But then after a while, if prices don't recover, they're going to close up shop. And the thing that people fail to realize is you can't just reopen. You can't just say, okay, I'm going to get back in the game when prices go up. You shut down rigs, you lay people off, and people relocate. And then on top of it, if you put yourself in their position, would you be so anxious as to reopen and risk this without being sure that oil prices were going to go up enough so that you felt comfortable that you had a cushion to where you said, okay, even if they dropped a little bit, I'd still be profitable and I could ride it out. It's not that easy to reopen. And let's put some context on this. Six years ago, when the Eagleford Shale well was opened in South Texas, the United States was importing 181 million barrels of oil every month. Six years later, 87 million barrels of oil. Look, we still import a lot, but it's far less. It's 94 million barrels less, and arguably, we import even less than that. The change is less than that because we are consuming more. Our population's grown. We certainly haven't consumed less energy here. If anything, we're consuming more. And because of that, what's happening is that 90, 100 million barrels of oil is being produced here in the United States. That money's staying in our economy. And what is it creating? Well, you guessed it, jobs. Lots of them. Do you know the energy sector is responsible for the most job creations since the recovery? 40% of them. And how about real estate, near and dear to all of our hearts? How about this one? 11 of the top 12 appreciating markets by percentage basis are on top of energy deposits. This really leads us to believe that if we see a reversal and we see a closure of many of these rigs and many of these producers, it's going to have a widespread impact. Yeah, it's great to save a few bucks at the pump, but what if you don't have a job? Uh, it's, it's a very scary story as far as what the ripple effects of this are going to be, and just people aren't seeing it. Now, we also have to think about how does this affect interest rates? Well, low prices, depressed for a while, will keep inflation low, keep interest rates, rates low, probably keeps the Fed on hold. I don't think the Fed's going to hike this year, and everybody's forecasting that. I don't think so. What does this mean for mortgage rates? If this scenario plays out, I think the 10-year Treasury could drop to 1.5% or lower, maybe even approach 1%. Could you imagine that? From its current level of around 2 to 1%, a 1% drop in the 10-year. Think about mortgage rates being at around 3% with zero points. It would present an amazing refinance opportunity for us, but there are some negative sides to think about here. So as we evaluate this, you know, don't think 1% is crazy either. You know, the German Bund is at a half a percent. All these yields on different countries that you can argue are nowhere near as strong as the United States, Italy, Spain, uh, France, their yields are far lower than ours. What about Japan? Less than half of 1% yield on their 10-year notes. So yes, there is room to the downside for interest rates, a lot of room. And I know nobody's talking about this now, but I would not be surprised at all. And I'm going to tell you, I think that rates are headed on the 10-year below 1.5% towards 1%. Plan your business accordingly. This could be a big opportunity. The currencies are also acting in our favor. If you're in Germany and you can't get a yield of more than a half a percent in something safe like the 10-year boon, you look to the United States, currently at around 2%. But that's not real, where the real money is. It's if the euro is 120 to the dollar and you think, like I do, that we're going to be on parity within the near future, the dollar is going to get stronger, the euro gets weaker, 
that money comes into the U.S. to make money on the currency play. And by doing that, you take your return from a half of 1% in Germany to about 20% if you invest in U.S. Treasuries. I'm not the only one who's thinking about this, certainly. Money comes from Europe here to the United States, from Asia here to the U.S. What are they going to invest in? Things like Treasuries. It's got to drive yields lower. So good luck to you. Thanks for having me on, and let's see how this plays out. We could be in for a lot lower interest rates. Let's hope that this doesn't impact our energy sector too adversely. We, we can hope, but I'm a little worried about it. Thanks, guys. Have a great one, everyone. Bye. Wow. I got to tell you, I've been looking at this stuff for almost a decade. Barry's got me lapped on this thing for a couple of decades, and this prediction is really bold and it's big. Hope you enjoy that information. Again, call us or email us with any questions. My name is Eric Gospel for Summit Lending. Have a great week.